All right. Up next, we're drawing the Bohr electron configuration for calcium after it has satisfied the octet rule. Once again, the important part is that it's after it has satisfied the octet rule. Given this, we're going to look again at the periodic table to find calcium. There it is. I found it. Beautiful. And I know that it has an atomic number of 20, indicating there are 20 protons and 20 electrons, making my job a lot easier. So I'm going to draw calcium right here. C A. Beautiful. Now we have our nucleus over here, and we are given 20 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Knowing that I have 20 electrons, I'm going to need at least 1, 2, 3, four valence shells. And if we need less, we'll put less. Let's start out with the two inner electrons that go on the first shell. Add the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross those off as well. And add eight more to the next ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are left with exactly two electrons indicating that we'll have one here and one here. Starting to notice a pattern? I am. Now given that our outer shell once again has only two electrons, it's much easier to lose these two electrons rather than gain six more. So, calcium will give away its two electrons, allow them to be stolen, and satisfy the octet rule, as seen here. I hope this helps.